Damsel. Released March 8, 2024. Released on Netflix. Directed by Juan Carlos Fresnadillo. Written by Dan Mazzo. Starring Millie Bobby Brown. Rotten Tomatoes score, 59%. IMDb, 6.3 out of 10. Welcome back to Real Reviews Like Always. I am your host, Lee. Today, we are talking about the Netflix movie Damsel. This movie is interesting because when you compare it to any of the recent big things Netflix has done like Avatar The Last Airbender or One Piece live actions, it just doesn't hold up. This movie opens with Millie narrating, saying that this isn't a story about a damsel who needs rescuing. I don't have a problem with this, except in the context of the movie it isn't true. The story isn't all that well put together, but I will summarize it. A young girl who is a child to a lord in a near uninhabitable area gets married off to a prince in a very affluent royal family. But that family is basically a cult built on a lie, and they try to sacrifice her to a dragon to uphold the bargain. She makes her way through this cave system, trying to survive the dragon as it hunts her. This premise is fine, but it does nothing to hold it up and make it interesting. I can't really comment much on the acting. Over half of it is just Millie Bobby Brown in a cave acting against no one. She does fine. She is a decent actress. But again, we don't see any other characters except the dragon for over half of the movie. The villain is so stupidly campy that it is a bit painful to watch. The dragon is well a dragon, and we don't get many scenes with it. A few lines as it hunts her from the shadows, and then a big fight with more dialogue. The voice acting is good though. Subpar story and not needing many other actors. The costumes and sets must be great, right? Not at all. The costumes look cheap, some like something you would find in a costume store. A lot of the items are covered in gold. Sometimes you can tell that it is a foam board painted gold stuck onto something. Millie's hair is really odd. I think they did it because most of the movie is in poor lighting as she is in a cave, but her hair is this odd unnatural coppery color and I couldn't tell if it was a wig or just a poor choice of dye. This movie is about 90 minutes long, and I honestly feel like they could have either cut down the story to 45 to 60 minutes, and it still would have worked, or they could have made it into a series and actually have it be interesting. The world is boring and needs more detail. The characters are mostly holotropes, the evil queen, the prince who feels bad, the lord who cares about his people so much that he is willing to make a large sacrifice, just to figure it out when it is too late. The stepmom who gets called mom in the end. Elodie, the main character, isn't even interesting. She is just a stock female lead in an action movie. Okay, so before I give it a rating, I have to say this. So, like I mentioned, the movie opens with her saying this isn't a movie where the damsel needs rescuing. She literally only escapes the cave because her father comes back with a knight and a guide. They all die so she can get out. So the movie doesn't deliver on the initial premise it sets out with. I will give his movie a 5 out of 10. Nothing about it is particularly good and nothing meaningful is terrible or offensive, it is just kind of a background movie in my opinion. Like play a video game, and play this movie looking over every few minutes, and you will get the whole plot. Well bad review aside, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe. Next week I will have a real review for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Until next time.